spoke to Coach Herman yet this week? Plan to do that? Uh, yeah, me and Coach Herman, we talk on Monday nights. Um, kind of just say how he's doing. I know he's a you're getting up there with top dogs now. You head coach, but um, <laughs> nah, I call him. I call him my high school coach, Coach Gar, on Mondays, and I'm gonna talk to him tonight. We might not even. I mean, pretty sure you're gonna tell me a little something about Oklahoma, but uh, when we talk, it's more just how you do in life, not really much about football. You're gonna ask him about football this week, I would imagine a little bit. Absolutely. But, but, uh, <laughs> what kind of? I mean, obviously, without getting into game plan specifics, but do you? Do you ask more about maybe what him and his staff saw in preparation or, or what they were maybe able to do in the game? Um, I'm, or both? I'm probably going to ask a little bit of both um, just because, I mean, with their approach, they were going off of last year's, basically, tape being it was first game. And then um, definitely as far as like in-game adjustments being that was first game and what they were able to see and uh, execute, so things like that. When you talk to Tom Herman, is it FaceTime, Skype, just regular cell phone? Nah, he's, he's not a FaceTime guy. He thinks, <laughs> that's, he thinks that's kind of weird, uh, which is, I don't really don't care. Um, but uh, no, nah, we just talk on the phone. Um, yeah, Cardell likes to FaceTime him, and he then tells me, like, why do I want to see Cardell's face? And I was like, <laughs> 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 yeah. Greg, Greg Ward is a similar style of quarterback to you. Do you? Watch. I mean, I, do you watch any of him and what he did? Uh, I watched the Houston game, uh, but not really. I think uh, he's a good quarterback in his own right, and so um, I don't like to comparing. You know what we do. I think our offenses are definitely similar, of course, but um, <laughs> not really his own game and comparing that. What are the things you want to know about an opponent that you can't get from just watching film, JT? Hmm. It's a tough one. You get a when you watch film, you get a certain feel of, uh, I guess, how they think. So when I say that, I think my example would be: so say a big play happens, right? So after a big play, do the team like a blitz or do they like to be conservative? being that they just let a big play happen. So I think sometimes that's kind of hard to get a grasp of and then uh, with certain teams. And then also I think some might be, um, as far as personnel, how they feel like they're weak areas. Because in defenses, there's always kind of a weak area and like, uh, they like to kind of hide. And so I think that's something uh, that you try to figure out. But then sometimes you get a feel for it in the game and other times you may see it in film and preparation but um, I think that's something that you always try to see. How big is communication uh, going to be Saturday night? JT got three new offensive linemen first road game like that. Uh, yeah. How big is that in, this, in an environment like that? Yeah, I don't I'm not sure you know, how Oklahoma really gets down as far as crowd but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a great um, environment for college football. With that being said it's going to be very loud um, so I think we're just going to definitely pump music or pump noise in to practice. That's what we normally do. Um, and so we're trying to do the best we can as far as communication. If I tell the center something, he echoes that to the rest of the line. So Pat is going to tell the guards, the guards going to tell the tackles. Um, so I think that's something that's going to help. Um, and then I'm going to do my best to be loud. So next time you talk to me, I probably won't have my voice. But, <laughs> Um, that's something to how much, you, what how much did you, you see your offensive line grow up on Saturday from the first half when y'all were having trouble clearly with some of the things they were doing from a SEC standpoint to the second half? What did you see from a, just a growth standpoint of that group? I think uh, just being mature and understanding that that happened. So like um, us having a bad half, bad half that happened, and it wasn't just them; it was all of us. Uh, a lot of myself I could have helped in that. So with that, just kind of taking ownership for you know their jobs and then going out there and uh, learn from those mistakes or just you know get a better understanding of the adjustments that we have and then go out there and you know executing them. So I think it was really good on our offensive part is just being that nobody was really pointing fingers and saying who fault it was and none of that was happening. It was just like hey everybody take ownership and their job and let's go out there and have a better half. 
What do you, do you will you walk out there Saturday night with a pure open mind of what you're going to see defensively? Because obviously, it looks like these guys have gone to a pretty odd front for the most part, mm -hmm. uh, and stuff. But yet, like Urban Meyer said, they were an even front, and all of a sudden they were an odd front when they played them. You know, in a, right. in a championship game one time. But do, do you, what is your approach just when you initially go out there? You expect a surprise. Not really a surprise, but uh, definitely something you haven't seen. That's how yeah. you know games work. So you see something on film. And, uh, most of the times it is consistent on what you see, but then there's also there's going to be a new wrinkle that they throw in. So trying to understand how uh, they might even approach you um, at our, our offense differently as they did past offices that are similar to ours. So we try to you know judge other teams on film based on uh, you know our formations or our yeah. different plays, different schemes like that. But uh, understand that they might approach you in a totally different way. So we try to. Pick up, pick up on that as fast as you can. So it's a little bit of a blessing they've played Houston. You're, I mean, because they had to show some things against you. Know, right, they, right, right. So, yeah, definitely being that uh, Houston's offense is definitely similar to ours. Yeah. Specifically, what's concerning you about their defense? Concerning? I don't think anything concerns me, really. Um, I mean, they have great players um, all around on defense. Think anything as far as what they do, I guess schematically, that's concerning you. Urban was talking about how difficult it may be to run the ball with those big, heavy 